Are you suffering from hair loss and want to regrow your hairs at any cost? Do you think Derba Rollers can help you in this regrow? Then this video is for you where we will be talking about Derba Rollers and three tips in which we will tell you how you can use Derba Rollers in a better way. Hi, I am Dr. Satya Saraswat. I am a gold medalist plastic and cosmetic surgeon and a member of IESHRS and a diplomat of American Board of Hair Restoration Surgery. If you want to Keep on knowing latest treatments about hair loss. Kindly subscribe to our channel. Now coming to the tip number one. How many times we should pass the derma roller at one particular point? So the answer to that is minimum 16. Which means that at one point, movement of the derma roller from left to right, from back to front and from cross on each side, it should pass a particular point 16 times. So. If you are using at your home a needle which is 0.25 or 0.5 mm in length which is a very small length in uh, derma roller then in this case what it does is it, it will create small micro channels from where the other drugs can go inside and uh, cause its own effect like if you are applying minoxidil or other hair serums and things like that with derma roller then these micro channels which are opened by at least 16 passes will allow the movement of these drugs to go inside and cause the hairs to come into the growing phase and to make them become thicker. So if you like this tip, kindly like the video till now and we will continue with further tips further on. Coming to tip number two, you get better results with derma roller if your needle size is more than a millimeter. But this size has to be decided by the treating doctor under whose supervision you are getting your derma roller. When the size increases and when the multiple passes are made, it improves the blood flow in that area and induces collagen remodeling or collagen induction is done when, with a deeper size needle. This procedure with a bigger size needle has to be performed preferably in a clinic under the supervision of a doctor. So a bigger size needle is slightly better than a smaller size needle because a lot of growth factors are going in through the blood flow and again causing the thickening of the hairs and decreasing your hair flow. So if you have any queries about your hair fall treatment, you are looking for hair transplant, then you can comment in the section below regarding your queries. Now coming to who is an ideal patient for derma roller. Ideally, it helps maximum in patients who are suffering either from male pattern or female pattern hair loss. There are classic five symptoms of male pattern hair loss which you should be knowing and you can diagnose whether you are suffering from male pattern or androgenetic alopecia or not. First thing is there is a temporal recession. The sides become deep and the hairs are uh, thinning in that you're losing the hairs in your temple points. Point number two is that there is an excessive hair loss which is happening. It is much higher than the rate at which the hairs are regrowing back. Point number three, your scalp starts showing a lot. The scalp which was previously covered with a lot of hairs and slowly you have observed that in last few months or a year or so, scalp has become more and more visible. Point number four, if you have a family history of male pattern baldness in your maternal or your paternal side, which means your father, grandfather, paternal uncles, and on maternal side, your maternal uncles or your maternal grandfather. If they are having a similar kind of hair loss, then most probably you are suffering from a male pattern baldness. The fifth point is, along with the thinning hair loss, scalp visibility in the front, your back hairs, they are still very strong, they are good in texture and very thick. So these are the five typical symptoms by which you yourself can diagnose about your male pattern baldness or not. If you have this problem, then it is preferable to go to a doctor initially. The doctors you should select should have a proper degree in the treatment of these disorders they should ideally be a member of American Board of Hair Restoration Surgery and ISHRS, which is the International Society of Hair Restoration Surgery. You can look out for their testimonials on various social media channels to see if they are particularly suitable for your hair loss problem. Do keep watching 
this video till the end because in the end we are going to tell you some precautions and side effects of derma roller. Also, if you are having this problem, you can call us on the numbers given below to find out a solution to your problems or to get an expert opinion about that. Now coming to the tip number three, how you can get a better result with derma roller is by combining it with other modalities of hair loss treatment like low level laser therapy and PRP. So if you combine derma roller in the same sitting in a clinical setup with PRP and uh, lasers and sometimes alternating PRP with mesotherapy, then you definitely get better results. Along with this, you have to ensure that you are following your doctor's advice and taking the medical treatment too. So it's not an alone treatment. It works best if you are taking complete treatment along with other modalities. So if you have lost a lot of hairs and are looking for hair transplant and you want to know the cost of hair transplant, please click on the link given above to know the cost of the hair transplant and the factors which are affecting the hair transplant cost. Now, what are the precautions and possible side effects of derma roller? So the common side effects of derma roller are itching and redness. That is a very common thing and it subsides on its own. There are chances of infection if you are not keeping it sterile. So the ideal way is to keep it in an antiseptic solution at home. There are chances of scarring if you are using a bigger size needle and doing it specially at home. Another possible side effect is the reaction, allergic reaction to local anesthesia if it is applied. So these are the common side effects and infection and scarring, they are seen most commonly if you are doing derma roller at your home. So coming to the tips about how to use it at home, try to use the minimum size derma roller available, preferably 0.25 or 0.5 millimeter at home and initially use it once a month and kindly take a guidance of the doctor even if you are using at home. So if you like this video, then do share it with your friends and colleagues who are looking out for similar treatment and please subscribe to our channel. If you have a similar kind of problem and you are looking for hair transplant, please click on the video on your right to see a similar kind of results of hair transplant. And if you want to know whether you can treat your hair thinning problem with latest techniques like scalp micropigmentation, you can click on the video on the left side. Thank you.